Hey guys, welcome to another Japanese lesson. So today I'm gonna share with you six sets of kanji characters. So again, I've already written all the words that we are gonna study for today's lesson. We have six kanji for today. So the first one is this kanji. I'm just a bit worried that you can see my writings very clearly. But anyway, I'm very sorry for that. Again, our first kanji is this kanji. Its onyomi is on or in and its kunyomi is oto or ne. Guys, oto in Japanese means sound. So whenever you see this kanji, it refers to sound. So this is how you write this kanji. One, two, three, four, five, and then there's just nichi. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is Oto or sound. So again, the unyomi are on, in. It has two kunyomi, oto or ne. So again, oto means sound. The example that I have for you is ongaku. Ongaku. So on, this, this kanji first. Gaku. Guys, the gaku of this. Kanji on gaku. The gaku is not the gaku for gaku for the school no gaku. Chigao, chigai mas. Because the kanji for on gaku no gaku is for the kanji for raku or happy or comfortable. Yan or comfortable. Okay. So this is how you write on gaku. Okay, so this one is on. Gaku. Can you see it? Guys, ongaku means music. So let's see. This is on sound. And then this one is gaku. Guys, this kanji is the kanji for tano. Tano shii. Only the tano is this kanji. Tano shii means happy, means fun, yes. Tano shikatta, I had fun. Ato wa raku. Raku no kanji is also like this kanji. Raku means comfortable. Just like rakuten no raku. Rakuten is um, a shopping website here in Japan, rakuten. I think the ten is like this. Which means heaven, maybe? Okay, so Raku ten. Again, Raku is this kanji and also the kanji for Tanoshi ear happy. Ongaku, what else? The next one is Ko on. Ko on. Ko on means high pitched tone. Guys, the ko for this kanji is the kanji for takai. Takai no taka. Ah, takai, yes. Takai no taka. Dake ga. Kono kanji. It means takai means high. Okay. How can I write it? Guys, this is taka. Takai no taka. But when you partner this kanji, can you see it? When you partner this kanji to on. It means ko, ko on. Um, the reading is not takai, but it becomes ko. Ko, ko no ko kana? On. Ko on. So it's like high sound. In general, the the meaning of this is high pitch tone. But as you can see, ah. Oh, if you think that there is on, it's, it means sound. And then you see takai no, taka, high. Ah, oh, maybe high pitch tone or high pitch sound. Okay, so that is my example for this kanji. The next one is this kanji. It's onyomi is an. For, for us foreigners, we... We pronounce it as yen, but in Japanese language, there is no yet. 
yet sound so it's n yen 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 and the kunyomi is marui marui no maru dake ga kono kanji ne maru plus i marui okay marui means circle circle okay the examples that i have for you are Okay, so for yen, the examples that I have for you are haku yen. Haku means hundred. So haku yen. Is it right? Haku. This is how you write haku, or one hundred plus yen. Guys, I'm kind of worried that you can see what I'm writing because of the color of my pen. This is haku plus yen. Haku yen means 100 yen. The other one that I have for you is nk. Nk. So n is this kanji, and the k. N is this, and then K is this. Guys, this kanji alone means shape or katachi. This kanji. So again, guys, this kanji alone. When you see it alone, it means shape or katachi. But when it is partnered with another kanji, its pronunciation. Changes so now it's N K. N K means round shape or circular form. So those are the examples that I have for you for this kanji. So the next one is this gyoku for tama. Guys, tama. Oh, I forgot to to teach you how to write. Well, not use this one let's see i want to use this so i'm gonna teach you how to write n so it's one can you see it one two three and then four i hope you can see it I hope. so one more time so it's one two okay two three and then four so this is n the next one is gyoku or tama. The konyomi is tama. Guys, tama means ball. Okay, so the examples that I have for tama are gyoku, gyoku seki, gyoku seki. The gyoku is this kanji, and then the seki is the the kanji for stone. So gyoku seki means gems and stones. Gyoku seki, gyoku this kanji. So one, two, three, four, five gyoku, and then seki gyoku seki. No ink. Okay, so anyway, gyoku seki means gems and stones, and this is how you write gyoku or tama. One, two, three, four, five, again. Okay, so guys, one reminder. This is tama or gyoku, and this one is sei. As you can see, they are kind of like similar. Here, there's just like this, and the middle line is above this line. But gyoku or tama, this line, the middle line is not above the first line. So be please be careful with that. Okay, okay. So that is the example that I have for you for this one. Another one that I have for you for this kanji is the word mizutama. 
Mizu. So how do we write Mizu? One, two, three, four. So this is already Mizu. And then Tama. Mizu Tama. Mizu Tama. One more time, guys. Tama means ball or kind of like circular thing. And then Mizu is water. Mizu Tama means polka dot. Polka dot. Mizu Tama. Hmm. Maybe because when you, when the rain falls, you can see some, some dots on the floor or outside. So maybe they connect that to this word. That's why they call the, the polka dots Mizutama. Okay. Maybe that is how you learn kanji. It's based on meaning of something. Okay, so next one is this kanji. The onyomi is R, tai, and dai. And then the kunyomi is the O, O, Ki, no, O. The double O sound is this kanji. So this is how you write O, Ki, or big. So when you say O, Ki, it's not O, Ki. It's not like that. It should be O, Ki, O, Ki. For example, if someone bought, let's say, a big cake. Oh, O, Ki desne. Something like that. Oh, it's very big something like that okay so this is how you write dai or tai it's quite easy to write tai or dai there's just one two three strokes so it's not yet dry one two three as simple as that so again, the unyomi of this kanji are tai and dai, and then the kunyomi is the oki no o dake. Oki no o dake ga kono kanji desu. So what are the examples that I can give you for this kanji? Ah, dai sho, dai sho. Yes, we have this kanji sho. So we are gonna combine them, dai sho. If there is die, die, and then there is show, die show, it means large and small. Die show, large and small. What else? Also, oh, zora, oh, zora. Oh, means big plus sora. Ozora means sky. Ozora. Zo, zo. Big sky. Sora, Sora alone can mean sky. And then if you write O, O before Sora, this one, Sora becomes Zo. Ozora means big sky or just the sky. Okay, so that is, those are my examples for you for this kanji. So next, our fifth kanji is naka. It's konyomi is naka. Guys, naka means inside. And it is also in my name because my last name is Nakayama. Okay, so I'm going to write it here. Naka. Naka. Yama. So inside the mountain or in the mountain, that is the meaning of my last name. So anyway, again, this is our fifth kanji. It's onyomi or chu, chu, and ju. And it's kunyomi is naka. But sometimes, guys, this kanji can be, can be read as zan kana. Zan, chu, zan. So anyway. Please remember that Chu, Ju, and Naka are the readings of this kanji. The examples that I have for you are Ichinen Ju, one year. Maybe, maybe a little bit difficult to write. Anyway, this one. Ku Chu, 
Kuchu, sky, and air. Maybe just the air. The air is called Kuchu. Ku is the kanji for sora. How can I read it? Sorry. This is already sora or sky. And then chu. Chu. This one becomes ku. Ku. Sorry, not ku. Ku. Long. Ku. And then this one is chu. Ku chu means air. As you can see, it's like inside, inside the sky. <laughs> inside the sky. So maybe just the meaning is air. Okay. Air. What else? The next one that I have for you is Naka Yubi. Naka. Yubi means finger. Naka Yubi. Inside. So this. Naka Yubi means middle finger. Yeah, as you can see. Naka means inside and then it's finger. So the meaning is middle finger. Guys, our last kanji for today is this kanji. It's onyomi is sho and it's konyomi is ko. O or chi sai no chi dake ga kono kanji desu ne. And then sai wa hiragana. Okay, so this is how you write sho or chi sai. So it's one, two, three. The examples that I have for you are shogakko. Shogakko means elementary school. So the sho, I don't know if you can see it clearly. The sho is this sho means small and ga ko. I think I've already taught ga ko in my previous Japanese lesson. Ga ko means school, so it's elementary school. And then ko ishi. Ko ishi. So this kanji can also be read as seki. Just like the example that I gave you for gyokuseki means gems and stones. But if you partner ishi to ko, it's ko ishi. And then the other one that I have for you, my last example is ogawa. This is chisai, so gawa. Kawa, gawa or kawa means river. Maybe this word, I'm not so sure, means small river. So guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you like this video and I hope you are learning a lot from all the videos that I made especially for you. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And please don't forget to hit the bell button down below to get notified whenever I upload new videos. So that's all for today. See you on my next one. Goodbye!